Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about just a few products that I've been really loving this week. Um, I want to apologize in advance. I've not put a video up in a few days and I was, I was actually out of town with a few of my friends, but I'm back so expect a few videos to be posted this weekend. Um, but anyway, we'll just get right into it. I'm going to start with some makeup products that I've really been liking. Um, the first one is this L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Mine is in the shade N1, which is Soft Ivory. Um, these foundations I've heard a lot about from a, just a lot of different sources, like magazines, and I've heard a ton of people rave about them on YouTube, but I had never given them a try before, just because I had some other foundations I had wanted to use up. But um, I've been looking for a new one now, so I decided to give this one a try, and I can say that I absolutely love it, and the hype is real. It comes in so many different shades. They, this is a, a neutral one, but they have warm and cool, depending on your skin tone. Um, I think they have like 30-something different shades. Um, so there really is a, a match for everyone, and if there isn't, then you can buy two and mix them until you get the perfect color. Um, I, it's a full coverage foundation, but it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't break up, it doesn't make you feel oily or anything. In the summertime and in the heat, I tend to get oily like around my nose and in my T-zone. Um, otherwise I'm pretty much normal skin. Um, but this just, it, it prevents that and I don't really know how it does. <laughs> but I really love it and I definitely recommend it. Um, it's... I think I got mine for like $8 or something, so it's not too expensive, but it is, I mean, it is a drugstore foundation, but um, I think it's its definitely worth it. The only thing I wish it did have is some sort of um, way other than just like pouring it out. That's the problem I find with a lot of drugstore foundations, um, is that you have to pour them out, which it, it can get a little messy, but I mean, that's my only complaint, so I guess it's worth it. <laughs> Um, the next product I have is what I, it's an eyeshadow, it's a CoverGirl eyeshadow, and it has been through the ringer, um, so excuse its appearance, <laughs> but it's just like a pretty pearly shade, it's called, um, Meringue Blush, and I do not use it as an eyeshadow, I found it's just super powdery and super glittery, and it doesn't like even really show up, um, but when you use this as like a highlighter, which is what I've been doing like a, on my cheekbones and everything, it's beautiful. It's kind of a pinky purpley shade. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is right there. And it's really shimmery without being too overpowering. Like it literally, it makes you glow. And it's weird that it would work because it is kind of pinky purpley toned. But it looks really good. Um, so I've really been loving this as a, just a little highlighter. And the reason I started using this as a highlighter was because I, I realized it just wouldn't work for me as an eyeshadow. I couldn't make it work. I couldn't make it show up. But I didn't want to just, you know, throw it away because there's still a, a good amount left even though it, it's broken a little bit. Um, so I just started using it as a highlighter. And it, it works really well. So if you have an eyeshadow that isn't showing up on you or it isn't super great quality, I would suggest trying to find another use for it before you just throw it out because that one... I, I was about giving up on it, and then I was like, wait, I'll give it one more chance, and it worked, and it's one of my favorites, and I love it. So, <laughs> um, the next product I'm going to talk about is an eyeshadow that I do use as eyeshadow. Um, it's my Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. I've mentioned this, I feel like, a few times in a video, um, maybe recently. Um, I never got into this one too much. Like, I bought it, and I was happy I bought it and everything, but I never reached for it as much as I did my Naked 1 and my Naked 3. Um, because it, it's more cool toned. Let me not blind you with the mirror. Um, as you can see, it's beautiful and I love it. It's just, it wasn't something that I reached for a lot. But this week when I was out of town, I was like, no, I'm going to take it and I'm going to use it and I'm going to bond with it and love it. And I do. It's beautiful. The shades are, are gorgeous. I really like it for summertime. Um, this shade Tease is just like a staple. I always use it in my crease as a transition shade. Um, I really love all these colors. There is a little bit of fallout as is typical with um, Urban Decay shadows just because they're so, you know, glittery and intense. But um, also it comes with a cute little brush that says Naked 2 on it. It's a double-ended one. And when I was traveling, I was like, no, I'm not going to take any extra makeup brushes. I'm just going to stick to this one. And it works 
really, really well. If this is the only one you have, you can make it work. It's got this big fluffy side that you can use to blend out or in your transition as a crease shade or anything. And then it's got this short little flat side that is really good for packing on color, but it's small enough so you can get like in your inner corner and on your brow bone and even under you like to smudge out eyeliner or anything. So I really, I know a lot of people don't like the brushes that come in palettes, but I, I think they're great. Like, I, why not use them? Especially, um, I mean, if it comes with it, why not? So here it is again, just to give you a quick view of the shades again. Um, so this is another palette that I really, I recommend checking it out if you're in the market because it's, I mean, you can do so many things with these naked palettes and they're super great for travel. So I definitely been loving that one. The next thing I'm going to talk about is um, a little duo I've been using. Um, this is the E05 brush, no, E11, I'm sorry. It's the E11 brush from Sigma. It came out in their um, Performance Eye Kit. Um, it's just this tiny little brush, and you're, when I got it, I was like, what am I going to use this for? It's tiny. Um, I mean, obviously for eyeliner, but it just seems so tiny. It seems like it would take forever to do your eyeliner or anything. But I've started using this rather than like an angled brush or something, and it's it's so good. Like, if you are having any trouble getting like a good cat eye or anything like that, try this because it's just, it's so small that even if you do mess up a little bit, you can fix it really easily. Um, and the eyeliner I've been using with it is this Maybelline Eye Studio Liner, and this is in Blackest Black. Um, this is, I've been really impressed with this liner. It stays all day. It's super black. Um... It, it's just a really great gel eyeliner and it's cheap. Um, it even comes with a brush when you buy it. I, I didn't have much success with the brush, but maybe maybe y'all can. Maybe that's just a me thing. Um, so yeah, I, I love this eyeliner. And also, I um, when I was at school, I didn't use this one. This was at my house. And I, um, I came back <laughs> a few months later and it, it wasn't dried out or anything. Like It was just still as creamy as ever and as great as ever. Um, so I think this is a great quality gel liner if you're in the market. I think there's a brown one and there might be a few other shades, um, so there's not just black, but um, it's definitely worth a try if you're looking for a, a good gel liner. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is my last eye product. It's the Benefits Their Real Mascara. This is a little tiny sample size. Um, and I, I've really been loving this mascara. I loved it when I first received it, and I still love it now. Um, it's about to dry up and be gone, um, so I'm getting my last few uses out of it. But as you can see, there's this weird little thing at the end. It's like a little barb at the end of the wand, um, and that's really good for separating out your lat or se separating out your lashes, like especially on your bottom ones. Um, and this. It really almost does give you the appearance of false lashes. It doesn't really volumize a lot, but it makes them really long and really defined, and it's just a great mascara. To be honest, I probably won't buy the full size just because it is like $20, and I, I just can't bring myself to spend that much on a mascara when there are so many good ones at the drugstore. But if I ever was to spend $20 on a mascara, I would buy this one because it's, it's really... It defines your lashes and it does make you look like they're they're false. Um, so it looks really good and I definitely recommend this one. Um, and you can also, I think you can buy the little sample sizes for like eight or nine dollars at Ulta and um, they last a really long time so that's, I even though it's like buying a smaller size when you could buy the full one, I feel like I could almost do that just because it's the same price as a drugstore mascara. But um, it's really good to have for travel and stuff, so if you're in the market, go for it. Um, this last makeup product I'm going to talk about is this um, MAC lipstick that you heard me rave about in my last video. It's the Viva Glam Rihanna lipstick. Um, it's just a beautiful red frosty lipstick. Um, it, it makes your teeth look white. It's just a beautiful color and I can't talk about it enough. I um, I usually don't wear darker lips in the summertime. I tend to stick with, I tend to stick with corals and pinks and things like that. But I wore this one out the other night, and it's just, it's so beautiful, and I love the packaging. And I'm gonna be really sad when it's gone. So, um, I, I've just really been loving this. And now, um, moving on to my last product, it's a skincare product. Um, these are kind of pricey, but I was on a skincare kick recently, and I. Splurged. 
Um, these are the Glam Glow treatments. This is the Super Mud one. It's a clearing treatment. And then this is the um, exfoliating one. This is just a little size of it. As you can see, it's like, I think it's about half or a little less than half of this one. Um, this one is like $20 at Sephora, and then this one is $70. So it's, um, they are pricey, but if you're, if you really are having problems with your skin or if, um, I mean, skincare is really important anyway, especially if you wear makeup because you have all this stuff that's not naturally on your face um, that can sink down your pores and cause a lot of problems. And um, I was having probably a more stress-related breakout. I had finals week and I just, I kept on getting all these bumps and I was like, oh my gosh, I want them gone. Like, I can't worry about anything else. So I went out and I bought these. And I first used the Super Mud treatment and I just put it on for half an hour and it, like you can see it pulling all the gunk out of your pores. And at first it didn't instantly clear up all my problems, but it did make them more, like I could deal with them better. You know, they weren't huge or red and just nasty looking. They were, they were easy to deal with. They were easy to conceal. And then I used it again and then I really noticed it started to clear up. Um, things. I guess at first it just had to pull everything out and then then it could go in and heal and prevent things. So I've really, I, I've really been loving this one. And I'm not a big mask person. I've not tried a lot of different masks or anything. So if there's a, a cheap alternative to this, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep buying this because you really can see it working. Like I have a lot of like pores and stuff around my nose and up here and then down by my chin and you can see it pulling all the gunk out of it which is really nasty but at the same time it's great to know that it's working um, and then this tingly it's called tingle exfoliate treatment it's the little black one they have there's there's a white one a black one and a blue one and I don't have the blue one it's a like a hydrating treatment that I feel like I don't really need um, at this point anyway <laughs> But yeah, this one, the only thing I, I negative I have to say about this one is that it really tingles and it almost hurts. Like if you put it too close to your eyes, your eyes will start watering. So just be wary of that. If you have really sensitive skin, don't, you might want to steer clear of this one. It even says like um, test patch on very sensitive skin before you use it just to make sure, you know, you don't get it on. And then it's like, oh my gosh, get it off. Um, but yeah, let me show you these. They're, they're kind of weird looking. They're just like little mud treatments. This one is gray and it has little bits of charcoal-y stuff in it that um, help exfoliate as you wash it out. And then this one, it's a little creamier looking um, and it goes on a little smoother than that one. But yeah, I've really been loving these. Um, I use them once or twice or maybe even three times a week depending on what I need. Um, but I've, I've really been loving them and I... On Sephora, they only have this one in a small size, but maybe if you go, you can ask for a sample or something. Um, so yeah, that's my weekly little favorites video. Those are products I've really been loving this week. Um, and I hope you all liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if there's anything you want to see, any questions you have, just leave them in the comments below and I'll check them ASAP. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye.